first, though, to Arsenal, who have put themselves firmly back in the Premier League title race after winning four games in a row. Next up for Arteta's side is Burnley tomorrow, and he has been speaking to the media in the last hour. Our reporter, Gail Davis, was there for us, and here we can speak to her. Now, hi there, Gail. Uh, Arsenal, I mean, just two points off the top of the table. Do you think Arteta feels they are in a good position to win the title with 13 games remaining? Yeah, very good morning, Hayley. I think what he knows is that in the last four games, his side have won those games and scored 16 goals. They are right where they want to be. They've earned the right, he says, to be in this title race. And now it is about keeping up momentum, energy, belief and confidence in his team. We want to be there, and uh, and that means that we've done a lot of things right um, during the season, and we have learned a lot of things from last season. So we have shown a big, a lot of level of of consistency and good things in the team, and um, and now we want to go another step forward and maintain that consistency, continue to play the way we are playing and perform, and um, and let's see where we get. Uh, let's talk about scoring, let's talk about goals, let's talk about winning for Arsenal. Um, and league games this year, they scored 16 in that period. What is, do you think has he's done to improve things in front of goal? Well, Hayley, they've won their first four games of the year, never won five at the start of the calendar year. And he did say that some players are aware of that and they are the things that can just motivate them a little bit more. Um, so much of December and January, we sat in press conferencing asking Arteta about a striker. Uh, he often replied, I'm comfortable with what I've got. I've got trust in the players that I have. Uh, and they've certainly repaid him, haven't they, over the past few weeks. That and a sunny trip to Dubai may well have just helped put them where they are with, as you say, 13 games to go. Working a team on the on the strength and as well the things that we can obviously improve. Sometimes it's about convincing the players as well to to try more, you know, and have more belief and and adjust certain things to to embrace their qualities and 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 be more difficult to defend at times. And that's a constant evolution that a team needs even through the season because the opponents are very intelligent and then they know what we we want to do. And talking of strikers, uh, the question was put to Mikel Arteta about a certain Kylian Mbappe. He did answer it with a wry smile, but Arsenal fans, he certainly hasn't ruled out signing the superstar. I think we all know where he's going, but... Um... You know. <laughs> well, I mean, the, the talk is real with you, but I just wonder if the talk could be Arsenal potentially. Would you be interested? Well, when there is a player of that calibre, we always have to be in the conversation. But uh, as you said, uh, it looks in a, in a different way. That's what I would say. Mm. You just never know, though, do you? There were a few uh, journos at the end of the presser just calculating whether or not uh, Arsenal would be able to afford him, how they could afford him. So he's certainly not ruled it out, as he. In terms of the team that are available to go to Burnley, they are managing a few niggles. Uh, they've got a training session behind us right now. The likes of Emil Smith-Rowe, he missed the game against West Ham, would be probably a great game for him to be involved in. He's not been ruled out, neither has Jay-Z, Sinchenko, Tomiyasu or Jorginho. They're all sort of looking after a few knocks. But it is a really big week for Arsenal because they've got Burnley and then they're in Champions League action in Porto. And then it's Newcastle the week after. So at this stage of the season, he said to have a realistic hope of winning the title and going on Champions League front as well. He has to really manage his squad, make sure that his players are fit and available for the big games when he needs them. And he did say they're a little bit short in some positions, so they will have to rotate and rotate well. Yeah, they will. Right, Gail, thank you very much indeed.